Up to now, we've been looking at binary logistic regression, where you're trying to um, classify an input to say whether it belongs to the class or doesn't belong to the class. So for example, if you are trying to predict whether an antenna is working as it should be based on some measurements from the antenna, then it's a binary classification task. Yes, the antenna is working or no, it's not working. What we will do now is we will turn to multi-class uh, logistic regression. And in this case, we want to predict whether the input belongs to one of several classes, not just yes, no. So for example, if you want to train a model that takes a chest x-ray and then predicts whether someone has pneumonia or uh, tuberculosis or um, lung cancer based off that chest x-ray, then we've got multiple classes. We've got one input, but we're trying to classify it into one of several classes. And in that case, we need something like multi-class logistic regression. We're going to look at two variants of multi-class logistic regression. The first is a one versus the rest classification. And then the second one is softmax regression. Let's look at one versus rest classification. So let's say you only know about binary logistic regression and nothing else. And you just want to use your standard binary logistic regression knowledge to do multi-class classification. So here in this cartoon example, we've got three classes, the triangles, the crosses, and the squares. And we want to train a classification model, which doesn't just do binary classification, but can do multi-class classification, telling us whether a new input point, let's say one here, belongs to triangles, crosses, or squares. So the strategy is that we're going to train three classifiers. Each of them um, is going to be a binary classifier. Um, and then we're going to see how we can combine them. So step one is to train three different classifiers. The one is just a classifier for predicting whether something is a triangle or not. The second one is just one for uh, predicting whether something is a cross or not. And the third one is something to just predict whether something is a square or not. All three of them are trained on the same training data, but obviously the labels for whether something is um, positive or negative are different in these three cases. So you build this kind of bank of classifiers, one for each of the classes that you're interested in. And then what you do is at test time, you're given a new input X, uh, your new input X, and you don't know what it is. But what you do is you pass it through the first model, the second model, and the third model. And you get an output score. You can think of it as a probability for each of the three classes, for the triangle, the cross, and the square class. And then what you do is you simply predict um, the class for which the score from that model is highest. So if this is our first model, F1, this is our second model, F2, and this is our third model, F3, then what you're going to do is the final output of your model is simply going to be the model K that gave us the highest score for this input. Each of the three models will have its own weight vector. So we will have a W1, a W2, and a W3. And we, we combine all of them together into a single prediction like this. Super simple approach, turns out to work well um, in many cases. And you don't have to do this just with logistic regression. You can in fact take any binary machine learning model and convert that into a multi-class classification model by using one versus rest classification. Let's see how well this does on the IRIS data set. And while in previous videos, we always converted the IRIS data set into a binary classification task, predicting whether something was a Virginica or not, a Visicolor or not, um, here we're actually considering multi-class classification where we want to predict for a given input whether it's a Setosa, a Versicolor, or a Virginica. And here in this example, I'm using sepal length and sepal width as my two input features. When I do a one versus rest classification, then the output of the model looks something like this. So here I've just drawn the different decision boundaries and you can see a very nice separation here of Setosas, of Virginicas, and of Versicolors in this setting. And this is using one versus rest um, binary logistic regression, extending it to the multi-class case. Okay, 
So one versus the rest classification is a little bit hacky, but we like simple hacky approaches to get um, the job done. Could we do something a little bit more um, principled, really taking the binary logistic regression model and converting it into a multi-class model? That's what softmax regression does.